My name's Emer McBride. I'm here to talk about Strange Hotel, which is my third novel. And it's really about a woman interrogating her own past, or trying not to interrogate her own past, understanding that memory comes with her wherever she goes, that she can hide from it, or she can refuse to indulge in it, but she cannot be rid of it. Even when she tries really to, to invent memory, to, to create a space and time where she, she goes back to her youth and makes a different choice to the choice that she actually made. She can't escape who she really was then and who she really is now. It was really important to me to write about a woman of this age, someone who's my age, because, you know, the world is so full of opinions about what um, middle-aged women are. I didn't want to present the reader with um, a carefully defined character um, because the character is not interested in sharing herself. So it's, you know, it's, a, it's like a, a kind of private window into someone thinking alone, unaware of you looking in. So there are a lot of differences uh, linguistically between Strange Hotel and, and my first two novels. And I think probably most noticeably is that it's quite formal, that it's grammatical. And it seems to me that language works in a different way when you're older to, to when you're young and everything is much more experiential and, and kind of happening to you then and there. I'm kind of bored with this very uncomplicated notion of how women are portrayed and so, you know, the book is also, you know, it, is, it does have incidents of where she completely embarrasses herself and is mortified and cringes about things that she's done. And then also passages in which she thinks and feels very strongly about things that have been painful for her in her life. So, you know, I like her. She is her own self.